Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start today information. These are some updates on the NAR. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar Opinions, and Dinar Guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. Does Iraq have the potential to have a more valuable currency than Kuwait? Yeah, absolutely, they have way more resources. As a matter of fact, Iraq is in the top 5 worldwide for the most resources. So, yeah, they have the potential to be there. They're just not there yet. They have a lot more things to export than Kuwait does. But they have to get past these hurdles. I think they will. They're not stopping. We don't have a date and rate. But we can see the progress is before us. They're gearing to move Iraq to the private sector and to open up to the world. There's going to be money to be made and there's going to be a lot of it. Article, Iraq is the fourth in the Arab world and the 30th in the world in the reserves of yellow resonant, gold. Question, I thought they met all the requirements, to join the WTO. All the articles say they have legislation that needs to be passed and the next meeting is in the middle of the year. In my opinion the Iraqi dinar is going through an internal float, something is going on. We're staying grounded, about the possibility of getting a huge payday. Remember it's only a possibility, just like there's a possibility. They could re-denominate before they change the exchange rate. Re-denomination has nothing to do with the exchange rate. We want the exchange rate to change, not the Iraqi currency to delete the zeros. We don't want that to happen, stop rooting for the deletion of the zeros. You don't want that to happen. Vietnam Dong, VND, the reason for such a low rate is the transition from a centralized economy to a market-based one. We learned, Vietnam had, over 3 million international arrivals in the first two months of 2024. An increase of 68.7% year-on-year according to data released by the General Statistics Office. As Vietnam's economy continues to evolve and adapt to global trends, the value of the Vietnam Dong remains a subject of interest and scrutiny. Understanding the underlying factors contributing to its low rate can provide valuable insights into the country's economic development and future prospects. Despite these challenges, Vietnam has experienced remarkable economic growth over the years, attracting millions of international visitors annually. In the first two months of 2024 alone, the country welcomed over 3 million international arrivals, marking a substantial increase from the previous year. Join us in exploring the dynamics of Vietnam's economy and the intriguing story behind the Vietnam Dong's valuation. Stay tuned for more insightful content on economic trends and market updates. Feel free to like, share, and comment on this video to engage with our community and share your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.